Okay, it's set share memory big mode. That's a very unique art style. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. That is definitely interesting. Well, I would normally say my catchphrase, but I kind of am in the marathon. I, I know, I'm very late to the party. I am very late to the party, but that's okay. So, I am proud to present, welcome to part one of Enemo Well. Yeah, we're into we're gonna be in for something special. I mean, they wouldn't just put this unique art style if they were not gonna pretty much roll with this or do something very unique. Me and my friend were talking about this one. I know it piqued his interest, so and there was a reason why I intentionally didn't do a stream for those past three days before Thursday. Because I kinda of wanted to save up for this one. Any new games I wanted to do it was to include this one too, so there, there were a lot of new games I wanted to try out, and this was one of them. So, let's get started. It's kind of interesting. Retro art that is interesting. All right, well, vibration. Hard to believe this is a PS5 title. Very odd. Very, very odd. My only knowledge about this game, of what it's going to be, is from the launch trailer. The launch trailer and the announcement trailer. But otherwise, I don't know bugger all about this game, so we'll see what this is all about. Very simplistic. There's really not a whole... Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so move. It's the retro path. Well, we can use the left analog stick. Because, you know... Interacting, it looks like, okay, X is to jump, O is to interact, pause. It's very simplistic. That's too simplistic. There's more to it. I don't buy it at all. I absolutely don't think it's that simplistic. What is it with these kind of like... These buddies are creeping me out, I don't know why. Was this made by one person? Is this considered an indie title? Alright, enough talk. Let's get to it. Okay, I guess I'm waking up. Huh. Like a flower, I guess I'm blooming. Ah, hey, there's a squirrel there. Okay, I did see this for the trailer. It looks like we pretty much control, I guess, a slime. So were we reincarnated as a slime as that enemy? Well, anyway. What's with the squirrel? Hey, I don't know why. Hey, that squirrel's gone. Yeah, all right, well. Retro art, but why is this so unique? This is gonna be different, I can already tell. Oh, chess. Oh, a secret egg. I did not know. Was it that supposed to be that easy? Well, I got a trophy for it. Apparently it's a secret egg. So, what's the egg supposed to do? Okay, it looks like he can just do a one jump. He can't do a double jump. Which, that makes sense. I really love the art style. It's trippy. Psychedelic trippy. The music seemed fantastic, too. I heard solid reviews on this one. Like, for this year, MOL has been received well. It's been received very well. I'm curious of who actually did this game. Well, anyway, let's move on. But from what I've seen, this is kind of one of those, like, games that went outside the box. It's not like a typical game, so you kind of have to... Oh. Yep, that is definitely... It's the death. This is going to be different. 
in a very unique way. I like when game developers do something that we're like, we don't know how to take it. We don't know if we should love it or we should hate it. But when a developer is just developing a video game that no one's going to really play or just really don't know, then we love it more. It, it's kind of very clever of the developers when they're indie titles because they're making games for them. They're not making it for us. I find that actually intriguing. It doesn't see. Let me see. There's a secret path. Okay, so that's into death. Well, the game is forgiving. I like Celeste. Celeste was brutal. This is very unique. And absolutely quiet. What happens if we go back to the first area? Got it. Just because I found that secret chest, I'll, I'll just try to see if there's some hidden path. A little bit of Metrovania, when you really think about it, too. I, I wish I could describe what this game is about, but I just started, so... I am late to the party, but that's okay. If I can't cover a game on the same day, then I usually do it the next day. I'm not like... I'm not like some YouTubers who do it the same day or day one. Now, if I had the opportunity to do it day one, like I did for Last of Us Part 2, that was the only game I did day one. Nope, nope, nope. Scratch that. Last of Us Part 2, and I also did Elden Ring when it first came out. I actually was kind of the first people who did it. Not... I think I got it for a midnight release. Oh yeah, I actually did it for Elden Ring. And I did play it the same day greatest two hours I have done. I mean, The Last of Us Part 2 was great too, but after all the leaks and uh, controversy, they kind of put a bad taste in my... Not, not, uh, no, let's not finish that thought. Alright, well, let's go. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, whoa! Okay, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. This is gonna be jump scared lore, isn't it? Can I go down? No, I guess not. I could have sworn I could go down. Hmm, let's see what's over here. Interesting. Telephone. Oh, saved in progress. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Wait, do I get to use it once? No, no, okay, it's multiple times. Yeah, this art style is absolutely the most unique one I have seen in a very long while. Yeah, I'm probably gonna give MOL, MOL, Zootopia. No, no. I think it's earned my respect to be called MOL. Huh, a crank, huh? Well, that's something. Oh, it's a timer. What the heck is this? Hey, uh, don't... Why is it blocked? How am I supposed to get back? Kind of found it. Alright, well, fine. Secret egg. Oh, I got a heart symbol. Oh! Well, that's clever. So this is this kind of Metrovania. It, is it considered Metrovania? To a degree, too. Because all of the windy paths, and you don't know what secrets lie between. Man, I love the night and day cycle of this one. Oh, yeah, this one. This one, the more, this is win me over, and it's only been... 10 minutes. I know, usually I kind of start with a pun, that's kind of been my whole stick, but this one I just kind of wanted to jump straight to and kind of see what it was all about. The, hey, wait a minute. I thought it came a different way, that's kind of odd. Hold on. Whoa, what the? What the f- 
Hey, that's our block now! Whoa! That's clever. Okay, intricate levels where you're not going down the same being the path. Like, ah, let's check this out. Hey, this is kind of a little bit of Rain World, too. That's interesting. This path is... I thought it wasn't blocked. But I got it by then. Well, anyway. Hmm. wonder where this goes. Okay, so we can't drop down a platform. Interesting. Let's keep going. Yo. Trading. Let's see where this goes. Yep. Yep. Hey, what's this supposed to do? Hmm. Alright, let's just see where this goes. Okay, back here again, but that's fine. Go down here. Oh, nope, it won't let me do it. And then back here again, and we hit the button. Yeah, I guess it'll just leave us right here. I am curious. Let's just take a look. So blocked. What is up with this path? I actually do want to come back and see where this goes. Oh yeah, I've definitely played an hour in this one. This one's too intriguing to... This is too intriguing to ignore. It's very unique, and I will absolutely put the time in it. Alright, well I guess I'm going this way then. Very retro, very retro, very much respect that. Something's off. It's way too quiet. I'm going in. I don't like where this is going. Something's off. Why do I feel nervous all of a sudden? Hmm? The hell is that? Is that gonna kill me? Yep, I think that answers that question. Okay! Okay, come on, come on. Uh, uh. Turn the crank! Uh, uh. That made me nervous. Understandably. So I gotta be quick. Ah, uh, very quick. Okay, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec! Alright, well, you can just be a dick all you can, I guess. You're just gonna be a major dick throughout the whole thing. Seriously, what is that thing? I can't run fast either. Uh, oh, okay, come on. Hmm. So, if we go that path, death. If we go the other path, uh, at least a chance? I don't want to use a walker. I actually want to just figure this out on my own. Hey! Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec! Uh. Maybe if I move fast enough, I could probably jump that platform. I could probably do it. I'm gonna try. Okay, I think I can make that jump. Should've just did that the entire time. Fuck her all. 
Well, I think we established that things can kill me in this game, if it wasn't obvious enough. Wait. I thought I saw something. Alright. Easy. Huh. So this is Ammo Well. This was also released on Nintendo Switch, and I can see why. Well, my friend tried this on Nintendo Switch, since he's Team Nintendo now. He might. And you know, I, I would actually be curious of his take on this. Or he could have played it on PlayStation. Why am I hearing hammering sound? That's weird. Well, that door is open now. Sweetness. I like these puzzles. It's very intricately designed levels. I very much appreciate that. Music is... It sounds fantastic, but we need to hear it more. The visuals are absolutely the best part of this. This took time. In a half... Like, in a hand-drawn technical sense. Well, artistic sense. Yeah, this took time. And it's it shows in an impressive way. Okay, looks like we're going here. Finally. I knew that there was a way to get there. Wait. Okay, something feels off. Considering that we just encounter our first enemy, Loco, I, I kind of expect that. Pick a firecracker. Oh, we can throw it. So we actually have a weapon. For a sec. Nope. Okay. Cool. That's very simplistic. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, hey, we're over there. We're over here now. Well, how about that? Wait. I thought I heard a noise. It doesn't help with the 3D audio, so I hear a lot of things more than I should. It's really going to kick in in Resident Evil 8 when I play it. Yes, I have Resident Evil 8. Hmm. The retro art is not even distracted. In fact, it enhances the experience so much. I love when retro art does a modern take to it, too. It's very much appreciated. When games, when retro games do something like that, it makes everything freaking awesome. All right, I got firecrackers. Suck it, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, wait. No, no angry for that. Not gonna lie. Okay, there's no way we cannot kill this thing. Let me grab those firecrackers and have... We can kill that thing. It would just be there for no reason. So what do we get out of it when we kill those things? Come on. They would not just give me that option if it's right there. Bring it on, you freaking fire! Suck it! Yeah! Oh crap, am I really missing? Wow, that's disheartening. Take three. Is this a little bit of horror? I don't see the horror aspect yet, but it seems like it. Alright, maybe I can just... Wait, can these things be killed by firecrackers? I did not notice that. Wait. Ha ha ha! Suck it, you dick! Worth it. Alright, so these things can be killed. Wait. If I go to the side of the screen, will it be revived? Nope! It's a one-off enemy. Love it. Alright, so the enemies are well designed. Thanks to the visual design. Alright, so I figure it the firecrackers could kill them. Wait, what other enemies are we gonna encounter too? That's also the other question. From the trailer, I feel like we are just gonna be encountering a lot of them. Hey, from what I read in PlayStation Blog, is there a boss fight? Ah, that's fine, we already killed the boss. Well, not boss, it was just an enemy type. You know... X. My gosh. Yeah, that's kind of me. 
And doing some Mario jumping. Really? Well, it's not frustrating. So, come on. Come on. Really? Huh. I feel like I should be able to get through that. There we go. My gosh. Hey, we're back here again. That's definitely meant for video logic. That's interesting. Okay, now that we have the firecrackers, we have a fighting chance against that dick. So, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, I'm ready for you this time. Firecracker time! I think that's more than fair. Alright, we got two left, so we gotta make it count because I feel like we're gonna see those guys again. Alright, this game has already won me over. I already know what is gonna be one of my games that I played in PS4. Wait, PS4. Uh, on PlayStation Plus Extra and Priya that I immensely enjoy. MLL is gonna be part of that list. Hey, it's a buddy again. Wait, are you an objective marker or are you just there for, like, whatever reason? I'm gonna see if I can catch you, bunny. Oh. Wasn't expecting this. Hey. Unlike Candle. So, can we light up with the firecracker? Oh. Oh. Perfect game to play on 4th of July. Hey, there's a chest! And it's a gorgeous egg. Nice! So, collecting all these eggs, is it relevant? That was odd. Hmm. Come on. There we go. And we're good. Now turn that crank. This has actually been a pretty much a delight. Okay, so we went down there, found a chest, and that led to somewhere. Looks like we can't get over there, and that just leads us right there. Pick it up the firecracker, because we're going to definitely need those. And, yep. Back to it again. Turn that crank. Come through. I can definitely feel the haptic feedback, that's a fact. Um, ah, there we go. Alright, looks like we're going over here. Another treasure chest. Same sepulchre. Oh, it's a map! Nice! Hmm? Something seems to be over there, with the kind of icon. Or maybe that's the telephone. That does seem like the telephone. Okay, so that's a zoom-in feature. Alright, so Metrovania. Can I go down? Well, let's go back, I guess. Yeah, this game is way too fun that it should be. I kind of... I really hope... And the Game Awards. And you know what? I'm going to check out the DICE Awards because they seem legit. Like, actually give awards to games that are deserving. But yeah, I think I might actually check that out this year. But I hope Animal Well is nominated. I know it won't win. But if it does, I would be su generally surprised. I would be happy if it win. We need to give games that deserve to get awards... We need to give it to games that actually put actual hours and all that. Or let me put it this way. We need to give oh go we need to give video game awards for games 
that absolutely deserve it. I think Baldur's Gate 3 absolutely deserved it. Not saying that Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom didn't deserve any nominations at all, or to win the to win everything. But let's face it, it win against Baldur's Gate, that is a daunting task. But, to be fair, Legend of Zelda has won Game of the Year awards, like, every year. So, just the fact that it didn't win, like, one year, I mean, look at its competition. Baldur's Gate 3 is kind of one of those, like, legit tough contenders it was gonna win no matter what. I mean, that is like a game with impact kind of game. People talked about it for good reason. I wanted to play it too. I did. Did I want to play Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom? Absolutely I did. I am with everybody else. Legend of Zelda is still going strong, even after all these years. I very much appreciate that. Alright, so that was to the map. How many achievements are in this game? I'll have to find that out. Hey, what's in here? Doesn't seem like anything. Huh. Yeah, I really do hope ammo will... What happens if we throw the firecracker here? No, don't waste it. Because there could be another enemy type. Going up, then. That looks like a Cheshire dog right there. That's a definitely a seahorse. Uh, ostrich. Looks like a... Wait, is that a lizard? Not sure. <clears throat> oh, cool. Well, save point. And if we open the map, the handy, the handy map that I'm glad they gave us to us. Okay, so I think that's where they were birds or something. And that was a boss fight. I don't know what... Oh, the faint... So that's what the flames are about. We're collecting it so we can beat the game. I think that's the whole stick. I was wondering what that was out briefly. I mean, I think they were there just because. Okay, so the flames... Once we collect the flames according to the map, and they're all over there... I don't think it's as easy as it is. I think it's a boss fight every time you try to get these flames. And once you get the flames, then you get to beat the game. There are four of them. So that's the whole stick. I very much enjoyed that. 27 minutes. Absolutely, I'm putting an hour in this. I thought I saw the lizard eye moving, but maybe not. Okay, so what's on the right side then? Huh, looks like a duck. Duck, duck, goose. Nope, don't do that meme. Not until the entitled goose game. Bunch of birds. Huh, guess I'll eat this fruit that restores my health. Wait, my health is showing up. My health didn't show up before. That's new. So now this is actually played like a Legend of Zelda Metrovia. Oh, well, let's just see what this is all about. Let's see what's on the left. Oh, the squirrel again. Guess we're going over here then. Man, there's so much to explore and so many secrets to find out. Hey. All right. Let's see where this goes. Hmm. Another egg. The virtual egg. Man, it's so easy to find these eggs. I very much appreciate these secrets. Oh, hello. Something seems to be over there because I hear some buddy or some animations sounds. Alright, well... I am curious what's over there. Alright, well, let's keep moving then. Hmm. Well, that was unique. So, these eggs, what do they accomplish? I'm curious of what they'll do. 
I don't think it will be like some ending to unlock. Oh, hello. The is that a peacock? Not the streaming service, but I think a legit peacock. Anyway. Hmm. See what happens when we go down here. Oh, and it goes back there. Neat. No, that seemed like a legit peacock. Well, I mean, this is called, uh, I guess, the bird level with the... Are those penguins? Or are those birds? Actual birds. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's see what's up here. More ladders. I'm curious about the peacock, so we're gonna just obviously go over there. Man, that's psychedelic. Stamps. What the heck is stamps supposed to do? Guess I'll go in here. It's so trippy. Wait, the eggs! Oh, so the eggs are for the peacock, and it's gonna give us some maybe special reward. Good to know. I'm curious of what it'll do. Okay, so if we collect a, a lot of eggs, it's gonna accomplish or it's gonna do something? Why would it be here of all places? I'm willing to find these eggs, because I am very curious of what they'll do. And so, collecting enough eggs, probably in this aisle, and there probably are 60, just according to these tables, maybe 60 to 70, I'm just guessing, then we get to go through there, and then we get some maybe special animation, cutscene, rewards. I'm game. I I'm, I'm invested. I want to kind of find out what these eggs will accomplish. Do we get to fast travel? That's also a good question, too. Hey, guys, I'm asking some legit question. Does the eggs give us fast travel? Rewards? Really some trippy animation? Oh, oh. Alright, more of the ladder here. Hey! There's a switch. Don't know where that's gonna go. Or where this is gonna go. What are those squirrels again? What's the significance with the squirrels? All right, you're gonna keep running again. Well, let's see what's over here then. Hey, it's one of those statues that I saw in that kind of central room before. I don't like where this is going, so I'm gonna wait to come back. Let's just check out that that right platform. More fruits. Hmm. Huh. Ah, of course it's blocked. It's always blocked. Oh! It put me all the way over there. At least I didn't lose any health. Good. It's been 33 minutes. I've been having too much fun. Hmm. Would my wife like this one? No, I doubt this one. I, I think this one would be a tough sell. I think she would check it out, but I think this one would be a tough sell. I just couldn't see her playing this one. Alright, we gotta check it out. Let's see what the wolf is about. It's there. So what's gonna happen? Why would you be here? What happens if we take the disc? Whoa, whoa, no! Oof. What the heck? What the heck? Ah! Oh, okay, okay! Take the bloody desk back! Oh shit, what was that? Okay, okay, that was kind of freaky. Now it's a cell! Don't take the disc. Just put the disc back. Then wait, how are we supposed to kill that? How are we supposed to kill it? 
that was freaky. Like an acid, bad acid trip. Oh gosh, yeah. Okay, I was wondering what that was in the platform about. I, it was just right here. Okay, take the disc. Wait, can we outrun it? I'm just gonna keep going here. Okay, that's blocked. Easy. Ah, okay. Let's see what's over here. Huh? Hold on. Okay, just gonna hurry up. There we go. Oh, easy. I imagine it's easy to outrun the dog, but wait, does it follow you to the next screen and it follows you relentless until you put the return disc to whence it came? I didn't really explain that. You're kind of just figuring this stuff out on your own. Yeah, Animo Well is going to be one of those... Is it a platformer? Or a platformer and a puzzle. But it's going to be one of those games that you have to figure stuff out on your own. I, I really hope it gets nominated for DICE. I hope it gets nominated for DICE. Game Awards is kind of like... It's a celebrity show, but I hope it gets nominated. Like people... And I've seen the reviews too. It's been solid. Not bad, not bad. It's too bad that Tales of Concerta, Tales of Concerta Zao is not getting the much love like MOL. I, I don't know. Once I actually finish that game, I could probably give you a legit opinion of why people are not going to be playing this game. I think there's a um, pretty simple reason. Man, I'd love the whole save. The save is so retro, and I kind of love it. <clears throat> hmm, wonder where this goes. Very precise controls, very eerie, but unique. Hey, wait, will this dog get me? Oh no, oh no, who? Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, these are one of these dogs that could actually probably kill me. Wait, where the heck is this? I mean, I could do... I, I imagine I could throw the firecracker at... Wait, what's going on? What's that sound? I don't like where this is going. It's way too dark. Get back. Oh no! That was a spike! What? Way too dark. Way too dark. Okay. Got it. Spikes. Man, spikes are like kind of my trigger. Understandably. Well, after Mario, I, I think I have PTSD from spikes. PTSD from, like... Well, I guess... Not... Ah, shoot! Get wrecked. That's what you get. After killing me twice. Wait, is there more? I don't like where... What's that in the middle? That's interesting. Hmm. Killer wolves, killer animals, psychedelic dreams, the best kind. Alright, well, let's destroy it. Too bad we can't aim. Man, I wish we could just light up the room. Am I right? Man, 
Yeah, it's dark. You know, what if we just aim the firecracker in the middle? I'm covered. Yeah. I'm determined enough. I mean, they wouldn't just put this in the middle of the room for no reason. Hold on. Let me just save it. Okay, I know I hit the firecracker right there, so it's some object we need to light it up. Maybe some lantern? I don't know. It's just here. Man, it's dark. It's like legit dark. More firecrackers. Hmm. I can't see anything. I mean, I'm in the total dark, and there's no, like, thing that can light the candles yet. But I'm gonna figure that out. Alright, let's go. Easy. Wait, is that a dog? Fudge! Wait, this is where I was at before. Eat that. I guess the dog is not affected by firecrackers, apparently. Alright, well, how fast is this dog? Get out of my way! Wait, can the dog jump? Oh, yes, he can. He absolutely can. Uh, apparently, the dog is not affected by the bloody... Oh! Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Okay! Note to self, don't get bitten by a dog! Yikes! I kinda hate this dog. Like, legitly. Dog. <laughs> Get away from me! Ah! Oh, okay, so I just jumped out of here for nothing. Go! Ah! Yeah, I hate dogs. No, I don't hate dogs. I love dogs. But in this context, dogs are pretty much terrible and terrifying. Oh, interesting. Wait, this will... Oh, uh, crap, this will... Let me... Oh, no! Back to the dog! Get away from me. Get away from me! Ah. Can I... Come on! Ah! Okay, maybe I can... Run! Okay. Okay. Just gotta wait for the dog to move. Come on. Just go over there, Poochie. Hey, I'm getting some... You know what's weird? I'm getting some Rain World. Rain World vibes. Oh, no. And Rain World was kind of terrifying in terms of those bug creatures. Oh. But I enjoy this immensely more than Rain World, so I can honestly say that. Bite me, bite me, bite me! No, actually, you did bite me, so no, don't... Actually, bite me! Okay. Okay. 
Son of a... Mm. Son of a dog. Go away. Uh, uh, uh. Go away. Dodge it. Okay. Okay. Everything's okay now. Oh, well that was simple. Wait, what's over there then? Oh, okay, I guess it's not that simple. Maybe I could jump it. Nope. Man, I wish I had double jump, but I guess it would be too easy if I had double jump. Dang it. Alright. Son of a... Oh. Yeah, that's kind of on me. Ah, oh, you're one persistent dog. Oh, dog, it looks like you can't reach me. Oh, you're just gonna follow me. Oh, that. He's so tense. Cause I was like, I was like, please, please, bro, don't do this to me. Okay, looks like I am obviously going over there since I can't double jump. It's over here. It's over here. Gosh, this limited flashlight. It makes everything tense. Son of a... Well, at least I'm pretty much going past you. Hmm. Oh, this is different. So what are you? A mock disc? <gasps> ah! And there we go. And now I know how to do... Yep. You clever game. You relentless clever game. That's actually pretty boss. I actually respect that. Wait. Well, what's the deal with you? You're brown, and you're different from the other dogs. What, what's up? I don't... I don't get what's going on. I don't get what's going on! Oh my gosh! Ah! Jeez! Jeez! Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! What the... F oh my gosh, that terrified me so much. I was like, wait, what's different from this dog? Did I get to keep my gear? That terrified me so much. Why would they have that there? Huh. That freaked me out. I was like, oh my gosh, what the f Hmm. So that... The dog is a slinky. That dog was a slinky. I was like, wait, what's your deal? I was like, you're different from the other dogs, and you... I was like, so you could chase me everywhere. That's just more terrifying.
Ah, oh, man, this this one is relentless. Yeah, that was that was freaky. That was absolutely freaky. I was like, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, Slinky dog. Yep, that's pretty accurate. What it's called. Anyway. Screw you, dog. Ah! Yeah, I kind of know your bit at this point. This is nightmare fuel. Yep, definitely not going there. Oh yeah, right. That thing's in there. Forgot about that. Worth it. I was like, oh wait, this thing- oh, well, I was like, wait, what am I doing? I was like, it's just, it's just this thing. I was like, that's nothing to be terrified about. I know how to kill it. Unlike the freaking slinky dog and the dogs. Just to change it up. Ah, oh, cool, fruit. You shouldn't have. Huh? What the? What the? Hey! I don't even see this path here. What the heck? Oh! oh okay. Why is this here? Not to self. If I had a candle, I would see where I'm going. Now you're there. Yeah, just stay in spot in there, Fido. Ah! Just, yeah, there we go. Go away, go away. Come on. I know I can make that jump. Come on, bro. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ah, <sighs> made it. Yeah, it's not like I do this every time. Alright, back to it, back to it. And that fruit. Screw you, dogs. Screw you, dogs. I lost. I like dogs, too. Ah, <sighs> sweet chest. Wait. Ow. Oh, that's new. Oh. Well, that's neat. 
Note to self, have to keep that in mind. Hey, what's that? I feel like I can reach that. What? Yeah, well. Hmm, I feel like that would have been a shortcut. And there's something there. Oh, screw you, you slinky dog. All right, we're doing this. Ah, suck it, bro. Oh. Ah. Ha ha, you didn't make it. That's right. That's right. I'm faster than you. Okay. Huh. I wonder where this goes. I thought it was some hidden path. A freaking course it's a dog. Why not? Of course it's the dog. Well, at least I got to the path I needed to. So, let's go down. Sweetness. I'm making progress. Actually, legit progress. Alright, time to go down some more. Uh, yeah, let's save near the statues. That creepy ass dog. Hmm. Yeah, I think we accomplished a lot in the span of 56 minutes. So, we'll be back after these paid commercials. Taking a kind of like a decompression because of the kind of nightmare fuel that I saw. And we'll be back. <laughs> 